Hello to all my Aries. Welcome. This is your late end of the month central reading. Happy birthday to those who have recently had a birthday. I know that we're moving out of the sign and into, what is it? Taurus. But I wanna I wanted to go ahead and get a reading for you guys, at least for the end of the month, since I didn't do one earlier. I recently had a baby, so I've been very busy. However, I'm not gonna put aside my readings any longer. Let's go ahead and get with it. So those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Cherica, aka Dark Moon Diva. If you would like a private or a personal reading, click down in the description box below. You can connect with me through Instant Go. You can email me for a reading. I'm going to start putting my PayPal down in the link below so that if you'd like a reading, you can email me and make a payment through PayPal that way. For those of you who have iPhones, again, you can contact me through Instant Go. Instant Go um, is where I'll be for the moment. And um, you can text me through that app. You can call me through that app. You can buy products and services like the, um, the spiritual cleansing bath bars, the bath bars to attract love and romance. Um, all of my products are there in Instant Go. All right. So let's go ahead and hop into things, Aries. Now, this particular reading, your central reading is in regards to what your significant other secretly desires behind closed doors. It also will reveal what the future has in store for you and your significant other. And it also will reveal how your significant other feels about you emotionally. Okay, so Aries, Aries, Aries. All right, spirit, bring forth enlightenment and truth as well as experience for my Aries. Bring forth spiritual guidance and light and truth for my Aries. given birth is so crazy like I feel even more intuitive than what I was before that divine feminine energy is jumping off like super strong that I said energy like I feel like my psychic abilities is at an all-time high right now so this would definitely be a good time to get readings Spirit, what's the overall energy for Aries relationship? And this reading isn't just for those who are in a, you know in a relationship, but for those of you who are in a situationship or what have you. You know, if you've recently divorced and you're wanting to, you know, see how your significant other feels about you emotionally, this reading would be for you as well. If you have a special connection with someone, whether it be a soulmate or a twin flame. Okay, card popped out. Just gonna set that card to the side. Okay, so I see Aries that this is a time of stillness and reflection for you as well as your significant other. Okay, bear with me while I clarify some of your cards. Spirit, please clarify the Ten of Cups. The Queen of Pentacles, the Justice card, along with the Six of Swords.
I know that it's not as bright as what it typically is, only because I don't have my lamp down here. I forgot to bring it downstairs. So I'm gonna bring the, the um, each card very close to the camera so that you guys can see each. Okay. All right. So Aries, what I'm seeing is that right now is a time for reflection and stillness for both you and your significant other. You're doing a lot of reflecting on the past, the present, as well as what the future may have in store for you, your relationship. Um, your significant other is also looking at what the future has and you know what what will it hold is the question at hand okay you may be going within your significant other is going within um to gain an understanding a better understanding of self a better understanding of the relationship a better understanding of the connection okay and even things from the past is what is what i'm sensing okay your significant other um, clearly sees a future with you, all right? We have the source of energy, the sun, Ra, okay? This represents enlightenment and truth. It represents clarity, okay? When I think about the sun, we think of illumination, all right? So this is the source. This is, you know, answers coming to fruition and and. and Things being seen, things coming into a, the, into the light. Okay, it feels like what your your significant other sees is the future with you. We have the ten of cups here. There's the love. There is romance. There's happiness. Okay, your significant other feels this happiness. They see a future with you. Okay, they see a bright future. All right, it's what they desire deep within. All right, they desire this relationship. Some of you guys may be earth signs. This could be you as an earth sign. If you're a cross watcher, okay? If you're a cross watcher, Aries, your significant other may be an earth sign. So we're looking at a Virgo, a Taurus, or a, a Taurus, a Virgo, or a... Um, What's the other side? Capricorn, sun, moon, or rising. You're right. Your significant other is one in a relationship. Your significant other is wanting to receive something. They're wanting to receive something. This could be a commitment that they're wanting to receive here. Or this could just be you. This could be you here. Okay. Someone is wanting to receive or to give. And it looks like what they're wanting to receive, what it is that they're wanting to give is a relationship, commitment, love, marriage. Okay? Lovers, the lovers. Friendship as well. But the issue at hand is that there's confusion there's confusion, there's mixed emotions. Okay, we have the card here, schizophrenia. Your significant other runs hot and cold when it comes to their emotions. Okay, it could be you, Aries, that runs hot and cold. Some of you guys are dealing with the Libra, and this Libra runs hot and cold. But even though they, they run hot and cold, or you run hot and cold, they still desire a relationship and maybe they, they're unsure of what to do to get to the Ten of Cups. That place of happiness that maybe, you know, you once had, the two of you once had. That commitment that the two of you once had. It feels like someone was wanting balance. Someone is wanting truth and honesty. Truth and honesty here and balance in the relationship where things may be out of balance, okay? They're wanting to take this confusion and this imbalanced energy and turn it into balanced energy where things are peaceful, 
Maya, that Maya energy balance, okay, between the two of you. So they're reflecting, you're reflecting your significant other desires to be in a relationship, a committed relationship where things are balanced, where there's that happiness and peace, all right? What does the future have in store, okay? Under the deck, we have the thunderbolt, so there's clearly a level of stress that your significant other is feeling at this time. It could be due to a breakup or separation. While they're reflecting, they are having some intense emotions and it feels like their chakras are out of balance. Literally, every chakra is out of balance. Mentally, they, they may be perturbed right now. Okay? I feel like a lot of you guys are separated from your significant other or at a distance or there's like a wall between the two of you. Um, when it comes to the communication, there's a lack of communication or there is a um, physical distance. Okay. In the future, it feels like your significant other or you or you're trying to gain the courage to either move away, to separate yourself from your past, from what no longer belongs, what no longer serves you. Someone feels stabbed in the back, hurt, okay? And they're trying to gain the courage to leave a certain situation whether it be a past relationship, a past situation, shit, a situation, shit, a past situation. Someone's trying to gain the courage to walk away, you or your partner. Okay? Because someone has made a decision, judgment. Judgment here, okay? Somebody's making a decision, a firm decision. And it feels like they've made many sacrifices. Or that they will be sacrificing. Okay? Sacrificing in order to gain balance. In order to gain peace. In order to gain independence. Because we have the nine of pentacles. Which is about independence. Freedom. Being single. But it's also about fulfillment. Financial fulfillment and blessings coming into fruition. Okay. It feels like someone has come to terms that it's time to separate from something that no longer is. Something that's no longer deserving. Because someone is making a decision here. So I feel like there's going to be a lot of reflection towards the end of this month going into the beginning of May and a decision will be made. Either somebody has sacrificed too much or someone has sacrificed too little and somebody is now sacrificing for the better, for, you know, the better for self, the better for the relationship, the better for all parties involved, okay? That's what I'm seeing more so towards the very end of April, beginning of May for my Aries. All right, Spirit, please show me what does Aries significant other secretly desire behind closed doors along with spiritual guidance for my Aries. Okay, car flew out the deck. Okay. Even with the sensual cards, we have the three of swords. Someone is hurt, but they still desire intimacy. It's raining in this picture. There's clouds, dark clouds. There's hurt, there's pain, there's frustration. Okay, this could be about overcoming that. You know, this could be about makeup sex. This could be about, you know, healing the hurt emotions, the hurt feelings via intimacy. 
with intimacy. We have the Five of Clips. The Five of Clips is very similar to the Five of Cups, the Five of Swords, the Five of Fire, all of the Five Cards, Five of Coins. This is about going through change. This is going through, this is about going through difficult change. And with this card here, the feminine energy is taking control of the masculine energy. The masculinity, the masculine individual in the relationship, whether man or woman, usually the woman taking control of the man is what I'm trying to say. Okay, it looks like a city. For some reason, this, this card is giving me more East Coast vibes like New York. So you may live in New York where your significant other does. But yeah, that position is probably what your significant other desires or your significant other's favorite position. So there it is, Aries. We have the hangman. So some confusion. Someone kind of holding back even though they're having these sensual desires for you, Aries. Again, the feminine energy, the, fem the woman taking control of the man and he has his eyes covered. This lets me know that Someone may be involved with a man that may be confused. It could be the opposite way around. Okay, but that's the hangman. And clearly she's pleasing him. Then we have the eight of testicles where the man is taking control. And this looks like it's at a park. So maybe your significant other desires to, you know, be intimate in the park. Okay. So let's go ahead and get some spiritual guidance from Spirit. Spirit, please give my Aries some spiritual guidance in regards to this connection. This emotional connection, this sensual connection. Okay, so Spirit is saying to demonstrate love. There's clearly a connection because under the deck, the union of hearts card showed up. But spirit is saying to demonstrate love, find out what is it that's important to the people you love and act on it. If you want this relationship to work, if you want this connection to grow, it's important that two people come together and they communicate. The communication is effective and that you're open to pleasing one another. If two people come into a relationship and they're, sh they're shutting down and they're unwilling to sacrifice, make the sacrifices that's needed in order to make their significant other happy, demonstrating love in a relationship won't work, will it? Okay? So, demonstrating love if you want this connection to grow. All right, so that is your reading, Aries. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Again, if you would like to connect with me for a reading, you can through Instant Go. This particular reading I do offer on Instant, Instant Go, and right now it's $25. All right, you guys, stay blessed, stay well, and ashe.